And here comes the recording. Oh, God, we're doing this. More of this. Yep, we sure are. Uh, for the love. Sorry, not sorry. And it should look a little tiny bit better, I suppose. All right, loading, saved game. Yep. Ooh. Let me reload the stream so I can make absolutely sure I'm following you 100% of the way through. And uh, I believe when last we left, you needed to pick up more of the resource that you need to both solve puzzles and save the game. Yeah, I need to get more of that. So let's try and see if we can find some more imps then. Yeah, um, basically it's going to be a matter of backtracking back to town. Okay. So yeah, don't, don't enter the hotel unless you want to die. Yeah. Beep, beep. Let's get out of there. <laughs> Let's get out of this horrible Hitchcock oh, hey. Okay, we got the All end. right, good. They have respawned. There's so, one in the back. So you have to, yeah, you have to re, you have to restart the game in order to get the imps to respawn. That's kind of what we suspected at the end of the first time, I suppose, but, uh, boy. It's possible there's a way to do it without that, because I've, like, the last time I watched someone play this, they didn't have to do that, but I have no idea what <laughs> triggers it. So, you know, it's kind of just whatevs. Just go with it, I guess. Yeah. Oh, and the flashing's back. That's great. Let me... Yay! Let me take a look at this. Okay. There's one in each alley in the village, one behind the cross outside the pub, one behind the wall, and one in the backseat of the car. You got the one in the car. So, did you get the one that's, like, on the road to the car? Uh... We'll get it on the way back. I got the one next to all the sheep. Okay, yeah, that was the one. Uh, the flashing's worse than it was last time. That's gonna mm. be a pain in the ass. <laughs> Is this my eyes? Alright, now I gotta play the hide-and-seek game. Yep, play the waiting game with this piece of shit. Amp. Okay, come on. Gotcha. Alright, so yeah. that, that should be four. And there's one behind the cross. Oh, that's right. And five. Yay! Alright, go back to the car. We now have... saves. Mm -hmm. A small number of them. Yep. We're gonna try and use them. Uh, well, we're gonna be using basically two once we get there. And when I say using, I do mean using up, so... Yeah. Into the car. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Do I actually need to grab the key? I do, the yes. Key to that pole. Yep, you have to use the key. Uh his constantly litted expression, spuds that is. Mm -hmm. Just make me hate him at all hours of the day. Indeed. Right, this All right. So this is just going to suck, isn't it? Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, should we save since we have plus 4 imps at least? Yep, save right in front of the hotel. All right. You're right. definitely going to want to do it because uh, as it turns out this next section is a timing puzzle. Hooray! Oh, that sounds great. It sure does. Um, what you're going to want to do is, before you go into the hotel, go around to the right. Yeah. Uh, and then use an imp on... Oh, you did get the statue. I forgot that we had done that. Yep. That's opening the escape route that you'll need. So go back into the hotel. Just a second. Okay. 
Um, so I'm in front of the doors. Do I just want to walk in? Just walk straight in. The hotel door. The hotel door. Good observation, Spud. <laughs> Great! I'm so glad you have working eyes. It's the reception area to this magnificent hotel. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me double check my notes here. I'm going to and... turn down the sound a little bit, because... Is it? Okay. Uh... Okay. What you're going? I'm going to read off the instructions for you because there I don't know if I'm going to have time with, with the lag to tell you exactly what to do. <clears throat> there are three cases for you to hide in, and a desk and a bell. Ringing the bell will cause the bellboy, Monkey, to collect a case and take it to a room. Use ring the bell and move. Get into the third rightmost case. You will exit the case to find yourself in Jason's bedroom. Jason is a guy with a chainsaw who's on his way back to the room. Take the garlic pizza in the room, then run back to the car via the broken bathroom window. Jason is behind you all the way. So I have to run all the way to the car. Yep. Sounds great. Yep. About it's gonna be the best thing ever. His stupid head. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, it's going to try and do... You remember how you asked about, do I need to use the keys in the car to get there? You will also need to use them on the way back. Oh, good. So it's going to do this, you know, BS. Oh, you got to turn the keys and run. And it's going to pretend not to start the ignition. Just keep hitting it. Because this game hates you. All right. We out. Woo! Congratulations. That you you beat the man with 100,000 abs. Well, that was some BS. Sure is. Okay. Now what you need to do is go back to the library at uncle's house. Right. I have al I've almost purged these locations from my mind, but thankfully I know what you're talking about, more or less. Yep. Don't worry. Once we get to Egypt, you'll just hate it. Oh, good. No uh, worries. I still have my notes. Oh, right. The notes from our unique save. That's right. Okay, so the library. That's through here. The library is to the left. Yeah. Like the left leftmost door. And yep. Okay, so I'm in the library. All right. Uh, get closer to the glass door. Okay. Okay, one step closer. Oh, hello. You see the vampire? Yeah. Make sure you have the garlic pizza. Like, take it out to equip it, I guess. And then let him in. Um. You may have to go through his dialogue options because, of course, you do. <laughs> oh, I, I already have it equipped, of course. Woo, good. It's a closed patio door with some effeminate individual standing outside. Uh, okay, it looks like some... you can open the door, so. I can. Uh, some effeminate individual standing outside. Totally not a vampire. So do I open the door and then... Uh, if you open the door, he will say something like, Ah, oh, my nemesis, garlic pizza, and then leave. Oh. I guess we should probably do the talk options for completeness' sake. Please, sir. I'm Alrighty, but here. you're the one who chose to do that. Ask about Egypt. Does this village contain a corridor of time back to ancient Egypt? <laughs> and that's a peculiar question, if you don't mind my saying. What exactly do you want? Only to come in to warm my chilling bones and have a nice glass of milk and some cookies. Okay, let's just get this over with. <laughs> I had a feeling oh, you'd no. come around to that way of thinking. This is cunningly fashioned into a delicious pizza. Be gone. Jerk. 
Yeah, with his whole very obvious, I want to come in for milk and cookies shtick. Yeah. Oh, hello. Okay, now you get to go to the graveyard. And I'm back. Okay, so we go outside then? Yep. The graveyard. Head outside. Oh, oh, it's the... down the same path as the car. Oh, right. The... We, have, we have to go all the way back out to the graveyard again. Mm-hmm. We're going to go to the crypt. Remember the crypt where you got the gas mask so that when you picked up the fungus, you wouldn't die? Yeah. You're going to go back into that crypt. Why? Because that's where the vampire lives, and you need to steal his teeth. But didn't we just go through that whole thing with the zombies, or...? Oh, no, the zombies was a different thing. Oh. The zombies was the shack in the woods. Okay, so the graveyard, we have to find the crypt now, or...? The crypt is, like, straight to the right. Oh, wait, no, we have to go... Right, we have to go past the... I'm confused. No. Okay, so in, I'm, I'm... Into the graveyard. Into the graveyard? Yes, into the graveyard. Uh, and then the crypt is pe like it's within the graveyard, like on the right hand side. Didn't we go there for the skeletons, though? The skeletons were in there. Yes. Oh, but... oh, we got the gas mask from there. I remember now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the gun only shoots zombies zero or and zero enderborn. Yeah. I don't know which one you prefer. For some BS reason. Yeah. Remember, if you hear rattling, it means skeleton are coming to kill you, so you need to run. So basically, just move through every room as quickly as possible. Basically. I uh, mean, that was the goal anyway, because we wanted to get the fuck over with this game, but... Okay, so I'm inside the crypt. Uh, walk a little bit further into the vampire's room, and get out the glass of water. Okay. A full glass of water. So, walk a little bit further in, glass of water. Okay, mm -hmm. do I click on the coffin? Nope, it's the little end table next to the coffin. Oh. A table beside the coffin. And just put the glass of water on there, and he'll toss his stupid teeth in. Take them! You now have three of the four ingredients needed to change the guy so you can... Get up the stairs. Okay. Alrighty. Great. Yep. So now we just leave the graveyard? Yep, leave the graveyard and head to the swamp, which is opposite, like, it's uh, the path. Uh, if you go back to the crossroads, it's the path across from where you're going to be. Uh. The gate out of this spooky place. Okay, remind me again. Coming out of the graveyard, I go... Left, and then just keep going straight. Okay. Am I going to want to save at some point along this journey? We will save before you actually get into the swamp. Okay. Because you don't have to... You're not going to encounter anything that'll kill you on the way. Okay, swamp. Uh... Well, this looks like the entrance. The music has just changed to this banjo-y thing. To this, to the very, very opening notes of, uh, dueling banjos. Dun, oh. dun, 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 All right, do dun. I, do I want to sacrifice an imp here? No, uh, you don't want to, well, I mean, sacrifice to save, yes, but you're not going to get rid of the gator. Yeah, that's what I meant, to save. Game, it's a game thing. Oh, boy. It's not actually going to matter too much. We're almost to the end of Act 1. Okay, but just in case. Yeah, just in case. Okay, so what's my next step with this gator and everything? Get the dinghy out from your inventory. Of course. Hmm. And use it on the swamp? Just toss it in. And now go? All right. Hold on, let me, uh... Oh, oh. there's some instructions incoming. Yep. <clears throat> let me get this. Uh... Get in and move forward. The music and timer will start. The swamp is a maze, and if you don't get to the other side quickly enough, the swamp monster will get you. Yay. Think of each location as having six possible exits uh. rather than the standard four. 
and map it likewise as you try. Why? So, yes. So it's a hex with no clear. Oh god. It's a hex with no uh like each room has no distinguishable markings either. So it's great. The oh. only ones you can definitely tell are different are the dead ends. Fortunately, I watched someone else do this, and I think I managed to get a map down. Oh god. So once you're in, go forward. And then you're gonna take four rights. <laughs> But are they going to be near rights or far rights? Like, because there's apparently multiples. It not everyone has six exits. Okay. So we'll we'll see how it goes. So forward and four rights is that all? Forwards, um, four rights and a left. Okay. Provided I did this map properly, I mean their trek was involved a lot of backtracking, and so my guess is a little fuzzy. Right. But I think I have it. Right two. Uh, there's no right here. There's no right? Shit. All right. Um, Going left. Yeah, take... And me. that's a dead end. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. This looks like a death cutscene. No, it's not. It does, like, four of these, and then it's a death cutscene. <laughs> yes, this plan lasted all of ten seconds. Um, okay. Oh, Jesus. Um, I, I, I can say that the... The Egypt zone looks different from the central point, like from where you're standing. So you'll be able to tell what it is if you if you look around. That looks like a dead end. I'm dead. Okay, well. I think anyway, pretty soon. Wait for it. Wait uh... for it. I have no idea where I've gone. I'm just spamming the click. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why don't we have Kermit playing a banjo? Because why the fuck would Kermit the Frog associate himself with this game? He has standards! Yes. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is a maze with... Okay, come on. With no distinguishing marks, and I believe now is the death cutscene. Yes. Oh, boy. Well, that is an... Not particularly attractive monster. Nope! Well, load saved game. It's good. Yeah, it's a good thing we saved. I'm sorry. I I honestly thought I had mapped it out right, but turns out that was hard, if not impossible. So we're actually just going to. God, even <sighs> trying to like study a walkthrough for this is ineffective. It, yeah, the thing is, the walkthrough doesn't tell you how to get through it. It doesn't. It's like, oh, hey, give it your best shot. Frickin' Dev still wants people to suffer through his frickin' game. The thing is, this guy, the guy who wrote this wasn't even a dev. He was one of the assistant writers. Ah, so he was... He wasn't even good enough for the game. So... So he wrote, like, what, dialogue? This fantastic story and script? Yes. Good. Yes. Great. He was part of the fantastic story and script. <sighs> well, let's just do it again. I don't even... I don't even care. Let's just, okay. we just do this again. Fortunately, once you've navigated it once, there is a map stone on the other side. So Good. you don't oh have to my go God. back. Oh, come on. I was right. Oh, did I, did I just make my way back? <laughs> yes, you did. I bet. I what? You made your way back and still died? Yeah. Oh, that's just sad. That's just like 18 kinds of sad. Yeah. I am so sorry, Spud. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna see if maybe, somehow, somewhere... Wait, what? Someone... Someone made a map. Someone it's made a really a... shitty map, but someone made a map. Someone made a map for this. Yeah. Well, I guess okay. someone would have to. Let me see if... Okay, I'm gonna put it up, and we'll see. Alright. You think you can follow that spot? Oh my god. Well, not on this run. Not on this run. I am thoroughly lost on this run. Wait, you can go straight forward from that first node? Are you serious? 
didn't even look like it. No, wait, no, that's that's just the initial intro. Yeah, I think oh, that's I'm, the intro. Based on where I guess I am on this map, I think I'm heading straight for one of the dead ends. Oh, good. Sheesh, I wouldn't throw that at my Pathfinder gang. <laughs> I would hope not. Oh. Oh, for the briefest of moments, I thought you had made it. It looked like the Egypt part. Well, at least get out. <laughs> See if you can get out and not die. I made it back. Okay. All right, so straight. Wait, I have to go left there? I have to go left to start. I... To get the shortest path, which would... Which ha it has to be the shortest path. I in guess. Order to, in, in order to survive. Oh. Let's find out. All right. Let's so find out if this is not randomized. Forward. Left. To the far right. Mild left. Mild right. It begins. Another mild right. I will just flat out admit I cannot read that map. Mild My brain left. cannot do that. Hard right. That's second cutscene. And then a hard goddamn left. Ha ha! Did it work? Come on. Yes! You made it! Ha! <laughs> you did it! Okay. okay. Just to your left from where you're standing. Well, I guess this is the right now. Uh, oh, you triggered the cutscene. Okay. Um, I mean, you can just you can just trigger it on your way back. Uh, use one of your imps to save. Uh, can I walk backwards to get that? Yeah, yeah, you can walk backwards to get it. Just in case. It's a temporal anomaly and hope. Not just desert. Home. Ancient Egyptian desert. Because of some weird time portal thing. It's a half submerged ancient. And it's yeah, that's the map stone right there. So. Into the depths of the swamp. Yay! Okay. Save time. Well, maybe Indeed. maybe in Egypt. Yeah. How many imps do you have? Uh, I should have Some three remaining. After you save? Uh, after I sa No, before I save. Okay. Uh, let me just double check to make sure that you don't. Come need... on, let me let me right click and. Oh, I guess I have to look at things. As a okay. Okay. I cannot seem to access my inventory. That's super weird. I guess you gotta look first before you can do anything. Sand yeah, but it's desert. just sand over and over again. Well, just, I guess, head towards the... Head towards the temple if you can. Uh, I cannot. What? I can go left or right. Oh, my God. Okay. It's a temporal anomaly and hopefully it's... the way home. <sighs> Great! It says, pass through the time warp into ancient Egypt, head straight towards the pyramid, deviating from this route to explore will almost certainly end in your death. Son of a bitch. Alright. Well, I'm gonna make the save in the swamp at the very least. It's a save game thing. <sighs> okay, so, back Ugh. in. Some kind of temporal okay. anomaly. Let me know caused by the demon if you can move pyramids. forward. It's a large pyramid. Ah, I have to the look at the pyramid. Okay, and then you can move forward. Okay. So just <sighs> go go straight forward. Just straight forward. Just do not deviate in any way, shape, or form. All right. Nope. And straight into the temple. Okay. Uh, I'm at the doors. Okay. Um. Let me get to the next part of the notes. All right. Um, in the snake room, create a flute imp to keep the snakes distracted. So there will be a snake room. Yeah, it's the, like, basically once you, I believe it's the first room in the temple. All right. The flute, by the way, looks like a trumpet, sort of. All oh, right, yeah. Well, actually, no, it looks more like a Vuvuzela. Okay. Inventory. Uh... Imp. There. A golden flute. It's not a flute, Uncle. Yeah, yeah, it's. A flute imp. 
All right. Yep. Exit, and then just use the f use the imp on the snakes. Now they're busy dancing, so you can go forward. So that imp's just gonna stay there. Yep. Gonna stay there forever. Okay. Have fun. Okay. Go through a room. And there's a door off to the right, and then there's forward. Take the, I believe it's take the one on the right. I mean, there's nothing in these these rooms that'll kill you. Um, it's just like, if you go straight ahead, it just leads to a dead end. Dead end. I believe it's right. Actually, I believe you can take either. Um, and then take, you know, whichever one you take, go down this, like the hallway. Well, let's take I probably the... could have phrased that way better. All right, down the hallway. And then out the other door. Okay. And there, and there was a wall there, so maybe that was an end. Okay. Yep, and through that little hole. Okay. The little hole. Do I need to be wary of anything on the other side? Uh, it will snart. It will snart. Start the trap puzzle. The snap trap puzzle, which is what I took notes on. Okay. You'll walk me through it then? Yeah. It's there's no timer or anything. Okay. Going through. Okay. Now there is an aspect of this that I could not physically know beforehand, and that is where these certain symbols show up. But uh just give me a moment to look at the symbol that appears. Okay. Okay, we are looking for Anubis, which means on the sidewall bits. You're looking for, on one side, a dog, and on the other side, a bird. So I have to manipulate these gear things? Yep. Just hit one, it'll uh, an image will pop up, and then if it's not the right one, push it again. Okay. Uh... Well, I can't seem to push it again. I don't know if that's right or not. Okay. Um, just hit a different one on that same wall. I'm, I'm marking these down so that once we know what they are officially, we don't have to worry about it. That one was the eye, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, something happened above that wasn't... Yep. That wasn't friendly. Yeah, it's gonna do that. Um, all right. Do the ones on the right, on the back two. The back two? Yeah. All right, there's an eye thing... and a camel thing? I don't know. Okay, that one, that third one that you just did, yeah, or, uh, or the the camel looking one, that's actually the dog. That's the one you're gonna need to hit for Anubis. All right, so I'll keep that one in mind. The third on the right. I got it. R three is how I've got it listed. Okay. Um, okay. Now on the left side and the uh, reveal the front two for me. Oh, there. That looks like a bird on the on the left two. Okay. So. We'll call that one L2. Mm -hmm. L1 is the feathers. All right. So hit R3 and uh, L2. I am bewildered at this. And oh god. Okay. Now that symbol's going to change. Uh huh. Okay, it's the two dots. That means Isis. So if you could reveal the front two on the right for me, this will let this will let me finish the puzzle. All right. So what the frick is that one? Yeah, the low oh, resolution's yeah. not. That's Isis's eye, actually. So we can actually solve this without you needing to uh, hit okay. the other one. So what's, um, what's the other part of that symbol? Hit L. Hit L one. So the the first one on the left. Okay, that worked. Yes. All right. Now the next one you're going to need to hit R two and L four. Uh, four being from the last, the very last one from the like on the furthest on the left. Sorry, I've got them listed as one, two, three, four from the little spinny symbol that okay. we're matching to. All right, that was correct. Okay, and the last one is R four L three. So th this was based off the book, right? I'm yes. We are matching, like, the book had little dot-looking stains in it that correspond to that central symbol. Uh, it is literally, there is literally a connect-the-dots puzzle in this game. 
What? Oh no! It was that too? Yeah. They obscured it even more? Yep. That is some profound bullshit. Sure is. But you're done with the puzzle, so you get to move on. Moving on. So on. <laughs> now what? I'm uh, in the vase room. Is there... Do you see the sarcophagus? Uh, oh. I see... Uh, I see another way down. Uh, take whichever... Whichever one you didn't come in, go that way. Yeah. Do I need to be worried about death? Uh, not until we get to the sarcophagus room. Um, this might be the sarcophagus room. Yep, okay. Uh, make a fat imp, a.k.a. Uh, mix the burgers and an imp. Oh, God, this is my last imp. Yep, fortunately, we don't need any more. And we'll, we'll respawn them uh, shortly. A fat imp. That is a fat imp. Yeah, okay, a fat imp. Where? Okay, um, place him on the sarcophagus that is just straight ahead. It's the one that's kind of moving. Oh, okay. A sarcophagus, you know, where Egyptian mummies yeah. sleep. I think you have to get closer to do it. Okay. Fat <laughs> imp. You are fat. And yep. you are keeping that thing closed. Yep. Okay. Leave him. And so, head forward. Forward. Yep. Oh, this game. Remember how we had to kill a guy to get those burgers to keep this mummy down? This I've, is a thing you wouldn't I've, have known. I, it's been so long since the last session, and thank God for that, that I've forgotten. But yeah, when I imagine when it all comes together, when I have to edit everything, I'll be like, what the <laughs> fuck? What is my life that led to this? Alrighty. Um, you are about to be in the room of the light of the pharaohs. Alright. Which involves moving mirrors. Oh. Because it was going to always have that kind of puzzle. Wow. Yep. Also, no, this puzzle was also written mirrors. down in the book. So, uh, so uh, you need to actually go down and then take like a right or a left. Oh. Oh, there. Are, there are also those paths. Okay. Yep. Tiny, tiny hit boxes to let you know. Okay, I have so, to. So, I, so there are a bunch of these mirrors around, and I have to hit them just right. Yeah, they have to be uh, done a certain way. I'm just trying to figure out because it's just super easy to read. Um, okay, I believe this one needs to be turned away. So hit the little lever, lever. that's next to it. That one's away. Moving on. And if you continue, it's currently this one's currently away. Keep it like that. Go All to right. the next one. This one's currently away. Uh, move that one forward. Or move it, you know, reverse it. Yeah. The next one is also away. Uh, also move it forward. Oh. You can animation cancel that a bit. Okay. A mirror possibly turns the Well, that was light. weird. All right, the next one is facing away. Uh, keep it like that. Uh, the next one is also away. Turn it towards. At some point, I'm going to have to ask, what's the rhyme and reason here? The next, You'll see. The next one's away. And leave it like that, and you should be back to the stairs. Uh, no, there's one more. What? Oh, god damn it. And this one is away. It's away. How many have we... Uh, if you turn... Sorry, if you look around, what does it look like? Because I think you can go all the way around. Well... Oh, the stairs are right next to you? Yeah. Shit. Uh, turn this one towards. A lever. All right. All right, let's see if this works, because, god damn it, even the, the book notes are shitty. So what now? Go up the stairs and attempt to activate the light. Some sort of lever. It looks important. So activate the important lever? Yep. All right. Let's hope. Did anything happen? Waiting for it. There's a big old cutscene. Giant gem along the top. And...
Uh, yeah, it worked. I think. Assuming that is what happens when it works. Yep, okay, good. Good, 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 good. All right, get the crystal egg out of your inventory. Uh, and crystal egg. Yep. Okay. Uh, and put it into the light. And I have to get a gift for this because I mentioned uh, that this game ran on this kind of logic. And uh, I just, I want to point it out again. Oh, come on, that's, that's not a gift. It's a JPEG. He was gifts. All right, so now I have the crystal egg. Do I just leave? Yep, you are good to go. And can I just walk out without fear of reprisal? Yep, you are good to go. Walk out without fear of anything. But yeah, stupid laser logic. Oh, right, yeah. You just you shine two mirrors on a laser, and it traps the, the laser forever, right? That's how <laughs> that works, and then you can melt a steel wall with it? Yeah, physics. Physics. Um, Th thanks, Totally Spies. Yeah, thanks, Totally Spies, for showing us how lasers work. And thanks, Spud. And by Spud, I mean the quivering Spud. Not you, Spud. Not not newbie Spud. Oh, I guess the two paths really do connect, because there's another door there. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the illusion of choice, game. Yep. After all your maze BS, you just decide, <laughs> hey, none of this matters now. Where's your discipline, game? Uh, why are you implying this game had any sort of discipline? Uh, hope. All right. The good news is, once you get back to the mansion, you're done with Act One. Okay. It's a temporal anomaly, and hopefully the way home. Yes, it's a temporal anomaly. You've said that about seven times now. Mm -hmm. So take the map stone back to your uncle's place. Submerged ancient stone. Oh, where in the world is the one I'm looking for? That's the one in the backyard. Yep. My back garden. And head inside, past the dead Frenchman. The yeah. guy you kill. Well, the guy whose death you orchestrated. Oh, wait, there's an imp around there, I think, based on the giggles. I should yeah, grab that. It. Nah, it won't matter. Oh. All of the imps disappear. Like, your entire inventory disappears between Act 1 and 2. Oh, good. Uh, because why wouldn't it? Okay, so now... Uh, I, it gets to the main room. Basement now? Yeah, head down to the basement. Yes, this is Act 1 of 2. Yeah... Okay, so now we just throw every item in that cauldron? Yep, throw in the vampire's teeth, the local brew, the uh, glowing fungus, and the light of the pharaohs. <sighs> Preferably in the order of brew, then fungus, then vampire's teeth, then pharaohs. Just because I have this tingling fear in the back of my mind that if you don't do it the exact order it gives you, it will somehow kill you. Yeah. All right. So the we now have an empty jug. Yep. Get the fungus out, put that in, then the vampire teeth, then the light of the pharaohs. Some vampire teeth. So uh so the vampire we got the vampire teeth by somehow inferring that they would be treated as dentures. Mm. Uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, uh, Zarhan, the reasoning for that is uh, it's partially Rick and Morty, but it's also because uh, David Cronenberg's films often involve really grotesque humanoid figures. So we take the cauldron and just pour it on the guy, I take it? Yeah. Pour it on him. Oh, uh, boy. All right, let's see what happens here. Something stupid. Well, you're not wrong. <laughs> I said, don't bother. Listen carefully, you'll get to hear him scream as he finds out you... Come on, up the stairs, let's go get that demon. Yeah. Can I go and feed me pet rat first? Hurry up. You've done a good job so far. Now, I don't want to frighten you about... Oh. Gorda just found out you murdered his rat. Too bad. Do we pump any more of those zombie dudes? Try not to enjoy it. Nachos. Huh. 
Mm -hmm. You have now completed part one to continue playing part two. Insert the quivering CD one and type quiv to run. Press any key to return to the DOS prompt. <laughs> Congrats! Wait a fucking minute. Wait a fucking minute. It just kicks me back to to the launcher, which doesn't yep. have a thing for. Do I just keep press play game again? Yeah, press play game again. Oh, you have completed part one because now it remembers. Yep. OK. Welcome to the days of DOS. Press two to go to part two. Welcome to the quivering. For a second, I hoped we were gone. OK, <laughs> for the briefest of moments, we prayed for release. So now I can just continue or leave. Yep, continue game. Uh, continue game. All right, here we go. And here I am. OK, in the hallways. First thing you're going to want to do, go downstairs, go out back, collect some imps. Ah, yes. Downstairs. I have <laughs> two imps already, it sounds like. Yeah, but still, you're going to want more. All right, so do I just uh, head on back? Yeah, head on out to the backyard. To collect one more imp. Yeah, at the very least. Yeah. The garden. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me double check things. Um, yeah, head back inside. Head up to the attic. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I've gone up the stairs. Um, I can go yeah. straight or behind me to another hallway. Oh, I mean, it's still straight up, like straight up into the attic. Okay. Yeah, this is just the second floor. The stairway to my attic laboratory. All right. Hey, uh, stream people. Uh, it do. <laughs> Let me know if my mic uh is working all right. Okay, that we had some problems with that earlier. But yes. Yep. All right. Let's see how this goes. Up we go. Oh boy. Uh, okay. So, on the ground, oh, sorry. My God, I hate doing that. Is to get the machine to reopen the dimension gate and reverse the flow of negative energy, thus sucking back the foul creatures and wiping out their evil deeds. How do I do that? I don't know. I was hoping you'd have some idea. What do you mean you don't know? But I'm a bird. What the hell did you expect? But you're a scientist. I know, I know. But my brain's been taken over by this, this, this birdie stuff. Quantum physics, ah, worms. That's what I think about. Got a new wormy theory. But this isn't the time or the place. So you can't operate the machine? Well, I, I can't remember if only my mentor, Dr. Formaldus for Penstick, was still alive. He built the machine. He never ate worms. He's your man. He's your man. Oh. So we've been walking around with a waste of space this whole time. Okay. Yep. Don't worry. He disappears in the second half of Act 2. All right. So what do I do? There is a brain on the ground nearby. Pick it up. A brain. It's in the jar. The jar. It's a brain. It says... The king on the label. Okay. Brain. Yep. Put that brain into the machine behind you. Uh, the... The bit that also looks like jars. Okay. Um... Okay, I think I did that. All right, now go back downstairs. Downstairs? Yeah, to the second floor, not to the, uh, not oh. to the first floor. Okay. Um, and don't press those numbers just yet, because otherwise you can trigger a cutscene that ends the game. Um, and, yeah. like, in a death. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So... So the second floor is also a maze. Eh, sort of. Um, to get the second brain from the butler, you are required to have the black tie. 
The black tie is in the bedroom where your cousin is sitting in a chair. So, um, I believe it's if you go, like, from the, like, entrance to the second floor, if you take a right, I believe it's that general direction. Alright, so if I head over here, uh, then straight or right, maybe? I believe it's to the right. Um, I don't offhand, though. I mean, there's, like, uh, there's well, nothing that's gonna, like, pop up in the hall and kill you. Well... Okay. Before you actually go into the room... Too late. Okay, I was just... Well, it's just a matter of, uh, you want to make sure you can cross while your cousin isn't a werewolf. Oh. So, make sure the moon is still covered before you get the tie. Oh. Okay. So... So, what, uh, it's just a matter of crossing, like, you know, like the spud timing puzzle about the robot, it's that again. Okay. But it looks, so to, just, be, it looks to be covered now. Then go for it and run. <laughs> There's a black tie in that dresser, just grab it and leave. Storage space. A black tie. Not in that, no, it's in the open drawer. Okay. The, yeah. All right, we out. Yeah, we are out. Flee. Okay, good. Now, yeah, leave, take a left. Take the left. Um, and the butler is... Uh, down the other hallway? Yeah, he's down the left of that hallway that leads up to the attic. All right, so when I get to the fork, do I go left or right? To the left. Okay, left. Just keep that tie on you. Go to the butler. He will hand you a platter with a brain on it. Just take the brain and leave. Okay. Now, here's a fun fact. If you talk to the butler before you get the tie, he does not give you the brain. Remember that one of that was one of the uh, dialogue loops that I mentioned can... Uh, completely end the game for you. Oh. Can completely lock you out of it. So that's fun. So now that I have the tie, he just gives me the brain and I can take it. Yep, just take it and head out of the room. And go down the other hallway to the, the right, like basically straight ahead from this one. Okay. You're going to talk to the pervert demon. Oh, that sounds like a fun conversation. Let's go. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> a torture chamber. Where oh. the hell was this installed in my house? Okay, good. Um. So, what do I need to know before I look at this guy? Uh, you're gonna stretch an imp in this room, and that's about it. Okay. Nothing will kill you. Okay. So, do I talk to him to get started? Yep. Gotta get. You gotta talk to him. I can see this ending poorly. A rather perverted-looking demon. It doesn't end poorly. Just really dumb. Under the circumstances, I'll keep my conversation with you to a minimum. What? No little puppies or bag of sweeties references? No, on both counts. I don't understand this conversation. Do you get some perverted kick out of torturing people? It involves a non-zero amount of really old, terrible references. And that gentleman in the gibbet, or rather, he's in the stretcher now, he was in the gibbet earlier. Uh, once he runs away, you can continue the conversation with the, the devil, demon, whatever. And uh, then take out an imp from your inventory, click it on the stretcher, and that'll give you a tall imp. Oh. You know, before the stream started, I we were trying to get the, my audio workaround going so you could 
listen to the game audio so that we wouldn't talk over it. But now I realize again, I remember, I don't care. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This dialogue's not worth preserving. Just it really isn't. Tortured chamber, but full of modern appliances. I have a blender, a microwave, and even a toaster somewhere in here. My clients pay for these things, you know. <laughs> He oh. has a toaster in here somewhere. Modern appliances. That's supposed yeah. to be funny somehow. Do, he's from a different time, man. Don't you know that the 90s when this game came out, not everybody had toasters? Those weren't modern appliances. It hasn't been that way since the 50s. And some rather nasty tasting yogurt. I think your prison is had enough. Okay, there you go, Kevin. Wait a minute. Aren't you the guy from the gibbet at the crossroads? Oh, this game. <laughs> okay, so he ran, ran, ran away. Mm-hmm. In a very stooge-like fashion. All right, put an imp on the thing, you say. Yep, put an imp on the thing. You'll get a tall imp, and then you won't have to deal with this guy again. No. Let me give your friend here a, a demonstration. <laughs> you, you're going limp, Mr. Imp. I guess he can stop it there, huh? Ah, a stretched imp. Oh. Yeah, take your imp back. Small imp. And then... That's horrifying. The icon, that is. Yep. All right, head back out to the garden. The garden. Okay. Uh, and people are making these nuts jokes in the chat. It's good times. Mm-hmm. All right, so the garden was... Uh, Past the dead Frenchman. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. I can take back that imp. Yep. Alrighty. Do I go into the greenhouse? Alright. Oh, I need to actually reselect. I need to actually... Oh, no. Okay, still have the tall imp. He's just inventory now. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah. What you're going to have to do is, once you're in the greenhouse, there's like a seed bag, or yeah. rather a, a bag of soil. Uh huh. Kind of like up on the corner of that upper shelf, there's a little uh, prompt you can get. Yeah. That'll let you look up and use the tall imp to get the seeds. It's a very small hitbox in comparison to what it is. And you would have no idea to know to do that. Yep. Use the seeds on the grow bag. Oh, I have to use that in there. Whoops. Yep. Going back. Ah, <sighs> this game. Okay. Grow bag. Yep. A Use the seeds on the grow bag. bag. You get a pumpkin. A small pumpkin. Uh, a pumpkin. The pumpkin you will take up to the a scarecrow pumpkin. in the hallway opposite your cousin. Oh. Yeah. No. I. I would really loathe to have to figure that out by myself. <laughs> like who? Like what? What poverty of game experiences do these did these people have that this was the only thing they could spend hours on was just figuring this out over and over again? I don't know. It's like there's a part of me that sits down and is like, well, I mean, if you look at games like uh, the the Space Ace and then Dragon whatever, because I can't think of what it's called for some reason. I mean, those Drag games are nothing. Sorry, what? Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair. Uh, those games are nothing but trial and error, but I also sit down and go, well, those are basically movies that you were playing. Really well animated movies. Yeah. And they weren't offensively... They weren't offensively an Animated terrible. or written or... I mean, the QTE stuff was kind of BS, but... But given the fact that it was, like, the first game to do that, I think it's fine. <laughs> and that it could theoretically be completed. Yeah. That you could make, uh, that you could theoretically make progress on your first try, you know, mm -hmm. and not. Uh, uh, yeah. So give the pumpkin to the scarecrow. He'll give you a brain. 
giving the pumpkin. Oh boy, oh boy, is that good. Hello. Also, world. he calls himself Jack because, ha ha, Jack a lantern. Jack. Hmm. Here's your brain, best buddy. Here, how about that? My arms work. Although he's also attempting to sound like Jack Skellington because why not? Like a really much deeper Jack Skellington. Gosh, mm -hmm. this is a happier time. Well, goodbye, buddy. All right, you have three brains now, correct? Or two brains I... plus the one up there? Uh, brain from the butler, and in my in, in my hand is another brain. Yes. Yep. Okay, head back up to the uh, to the brain machine. We're about done with the first part of Act 2. Okay. So we just throw the brains in? Throw the brains in, and then we will have to press specific buttons. Good. Okay. All right. Uh, you're going to want to press button 1. And then after the cutscene finishes, turn around and press button 2. Otherwise, Big D will come out and kill you. Okay. That's good to know. Yep. Maybe save beforehand. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, that might be actually good. All right, Imp. You are being sacrificed to the god of infinite retries. Also, here's a fun thing from the uh, from the walkthrough. So a big well done is in order for following these instructions correctly. <laughs> when when GameFAX authors get sassy. It's not on GameFAX. I know, I know. <laughs> but when walkthrough authors get sassy, yeah. So press one, there's a cutscene, turn around and press two as fast as possible. Yeah. Basically, pressing one puts the scientist brain into the monster, which makes him use, which makes him open the portal. Pressing two puts the monster brain in, which lets him actually fight off Big D. Because if it's just you fighting off Big D, there's a there's a fun little cutscene wherein uh, you vainly try to punch him in the stomach. It doesn't do anything, and then he proceeds to punch you up into a light bulb. Um, well, and then, let's let's just see what happens then. Yeah. That's... That's creepy. Oh! Nope, one is the king, isn't it? Shit. Yeah. Damn it! Oh, God. Okay, um... Then I guess, uh... Try two. And, uh... Wh whichever one that is, I guess, will... Yeah, if we'll it's the that. monster, then things will be whatever. Uh, oh, don't worry, guys. You'll get to see the king plenty more. Oh, good. He's going to be a recurring character. Yes, he is. Uh, what's <laughs> what's behind door number two, then? Yep. <laughs> I, lo I love these responses. Oh, a bunch of, bunch of ellipses, long ellipses in the chat. Yeah? <laughs> no. Please, no. Why? <laughs> this looks like the the scientist. Yep, okay. Then you'll need to press three once uh once One. Big D is summoned. There is just no shot of Spud in the neutral expression that doesn't make him look like a douchebag. Nope. Or that stupid grin on his face. Yeah. Come on, let me do a thing. Press three. Okay, Ooh. pressing three. All right, now just let the cutscene roll around. Uh. Okay, enough. Yep. Hearing the stupid fucking flippers. Sorry. 
just these character designs piss me off on some yeah. sort of like primal level. Well, okay then. Just wait. It's about yeah. to be some bullshit. Yeah, it's it's trying to be like, hey, it's everything's over now. Psych. <laughs> now Actually, we're no. It's here's the fun fact. It's not a portal to hell because they explicitly mention it's not hell. They call it Dimension X. Oh, because 90s. Because, which is weird considering they had no problem calling things hell earlier. Yeah. So now we have, oh God, that's that can only be one brain, can it? Yep. And guess what? If you didn't put it in the machine, you you're... can't beat the game! So you you basically hit this point, and then you're either stuck or game over here? Yep. And it's great, because, like... I mean, I won't... I'm not going to spoil it, because I just... I want to see your reaction to it, but... Uh, it's, like, there is a going... There's a point at the end of this game where, uh... You, like, you... It is absolutely... A you know a moment of like why didn't I get the brain? It's great. It's just all kinds of fantastic. Well, Act Two, huh? Yep, Act Two. Welcome to a theme park, I guess. The, the guy, it's great. The guide says you're now in a theme park. Don't ask how. Okay. Um. The theme park is divided into three sections separated by a cave. A south side, where you are initially standing, containing the entrance, a north side, containing the roller coaster and one-armed bandit, and an east side, containing Big D's castle. You will not be able to get into the castle until you have an entrance ticket. To get an entrance ticket, you will need to win it at the duck shoot stall. And to win that, you need a machine gun. So Good. What you're, gonna do, what you're gonna do is enter it, enter the fun fair. Um... Talk to people only if you absolutely feel like it. Yeah, I don't feel like it. <laughs> well, okay, I want to see what this first guy has to say, the just so I can just so I can get suit. a just so I can get a sample. Searching for Big D, dude. What's the news? The big man himself is in this very fun thing. So, but how do I get back to planet Earth? Huh? Why would you want to go there when Dimension X is filled with blood, carnage, and chaos? Eh, okay, I'm done. It's just not compelling. Nope. Never will be. Okay, so I need to find... You need to go to the one-armed bandit machine. So find the cave, which I believe is just like straight ahead. It's a hell of a skelter. And uh, do your best not to go on any rides. Um until then because they will kill you okay well there's a cave over here yep okay and, and now i'm in the cave oh god and you're gonna want to go like on the leftward path the leftward the roller towards the roller coaster okay mr <laughs> bones wild ride yes we finally found it we found mr bones wild ride no mr bones wild ride is too classy an establishment for a place like this yeah no really it's <laughs> it, it's <laughs> This is not a good enough hell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Mr. Mr. Bones is actually scary in comparison. Oh, yeah. Um, you're going to want to go towards the, the, you know, the tunnel of hate, I guess is what it's called. Okay. And then take a right. We're going to the one armed bandit machine. Uh... And it's a, I believe it's another right, or no, no, not a right. It's a straight, straight ahead. Straight ahead. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, I'm waiting to catch up. And to the right this time. Okay. Oh, 
A one-armed bandit. All right. Check your inventory real fast. Do you have any imps? Uh, I have two. Okay. Save real fast, because you're going to need it. Good. We are saved. Yep. And uh, here's what I'm going to tell you. The one-armed bandit machine is how you get imps in this stage. Oh. The way it works is the the spin, like the little spinners rotate, and then the little arrows at the bottom you can adjust so that things line up. You only have so many times to do it based on a number that happens when you roll. Skulls will kill you. Lightning bolts will kill you. Cherries will kill you. Axes will probably kill you, but I think they're also bugged, so they may not. Uh, and the uh, sort of pentagram is a slot token that you will need. And the imps are imps. Okay. So, my recommendation is grind out a, a few imps. Game token. Hey, you got the token on the first try. So, the buttons at the bottom, I, that did, I couldn't really touch those at all. No, you'd touch them after it's done spinning. If it doesn't automatically do something. Okay. So do I want to keep going then? Yeah, you're going to need some imps, man. Okay, but it's still RNG. Yep. So I could just die and get a bad yep. run. That's why I tell you to save beforehand. <laughs> okay, so the buttons then. All right, press the center button, just get another token, because I think you need three in order to get the machine gun. So this is really the first part of Act 2, is... Or rather, yeah. the... The next part of Act 2 is this. Yep. Gambling. Gambling. For my S life. Straight up RNG. That doesn't look like a good outcome. Uh, okay. Just rotate the first one a couple times. Oh, wait. Actually, rotate the second one. Because the uh, otherwise you may end up with lightning bolts lining up, which you don't want. But if you rotate the second one until it stops, I don't think you'll get anything. Well, I'm between a pentagram and a, and a skull, so. It, uh, if you turn to your right, like just under the hammer. Oh, there's a there's a counter there. Yeah, I got I got one more. Yeah, yeah, so you can move one more thing, and I th I don't think you can get anything at this point. So just you know, r waste it, rotate it, whatever, just yeah. to get it out of the way and start again. Okay. Well. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, you got the lightning bolts? Well, good thing we saved. Fantastic game. Yeah. Uh, load saved game. Gambling for save points. It's the best. Oh, uh, so when the YouTube version goes up, it's just going to be... Uh, Yakety sax music and this. Yeah. A crane game. Uh, get the get the two pentagrams lined up. So. so it's it's a slot machine, but then you can mess with it. But you can also just get screwed on the first roll. Yep. Oh. So it's kind of strategy, kind of bullshit. Yeah. It's not entirely. Uh, yeah, you should be able to grind out some more tokens at the very least. Yeah. Um, but we gotta get the imps, man. Yeah, you need imps to save. A crane game token. But okay. you also basically need to save a, you know, actually progress with the gambling machine. We're getting nothing the but the crane game, game token. tokens. <laughs> That's really it. Four, that is unfortunate. <laughs> four in a row, and now we're gonna die. Uh, I'll bet you anything. Well then, save. Well, okay, let's see. Get an imp there. Got three more chances. Okay. Hey, we got an imp. Yeah, put down that one. Oh, yeah, all right. I don't know why I'm giving advice. There's nothing I can do in this section. I'm going to save because. Sounds like a good idea. That way you don't at least have to roll for the 
frickin' tokens again. I'm probably gonna get a million anyway. I would suggest, and I really do hate saying this, I would probably suggest getting about five imps if you can. Five imps. Yeah. Oh god, here we go. What kind of music do I put over this if I speed this all up? Okay, we have five imps, technically, so... Okay! Uh, but... Saving, too, god... Alright, I think you should be good with what you've got for now. If absolutely necessary, we can come back. Yeah, we can't do that again. Uh... Okay, so where do we go? The crane game? Yeah, let's go to the crane game. Uh, uh it is... Yeah, it's just down the opposite path. Okay, so just we have we can tokens into the machine. There's okay. literally nothing you can do. Wait, it's just automatic. You just play yep. it until you get the result you want. Son yep. of a. Well, thank goodness we got fifty. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Yep. No, no, you haven't got it. Who's talking in my ear now? Is that the Elvis zombie? Yeah, okay. well, the Elvis Frankenstein guy. Yeah, Elvis Frankenstein. That's the one who's been saying a crane game token. Yep. He's now your guide. He is now your uncle. Your uncle figure, I guess no, I should have said. Good, but, you know. The guy who tells you how to progress, or is supposed to. Well, we have a magnet. Yay! Now the game is busted. The game is busted? Yep, you can't do anything. No, not the, the actual game, the crane game. Okay. Um, I mean, the game is busted too, but just, like, that that was unrelated to anything you did. Um, so... Now you get to turn around. Okay. And... We are going to steal, or go to the cave. We're going to steal a camera from the demon family. Using the magnet. Uh, no, we're just gonna... We're just we're gonna just... take it. Yep. Um. Oh, uh, near... Actually, sorry, it's not actually at the cave. Near where you are, or well, near the crane game, um, there's the funny picture cutouts or something like that. Um... God, my hands still smell like my really crappy Bloody Mary. <laughs> um... Uh, I don't know. It's God. Uh, it's near the pit of death thing. So like opposite of where you're looking right now. The wall of death. Yeah, it's like in that general area, I think. Oh well, yeah. There's the photo thing. Yep. All right. Uh, put an imp in the photo thing. Um, the demon family's gonna come around and uh, take the camera from him. Okay. Oh, oh, son of a bitch. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. I'm this Damn. this walkthrough is so shittily written. I thought that this was part of it. No, nope. you actually do have to steal the camera from the cave family. I'm oh. sorry, but Okay. This is a thing you have to do. You have to go back over here in a moment, but oh, yeah. So it was just confusing. We can confirm that the walkthrough is confusingly written. Here's the specific sentence. Go into the cave and get steal the camera from the demon family. Go to the, uh... Oh, God. I don't know what the fuck I read. I actually just misread this completely. I'm sorry. Because it, like, it mentions the... Like, the sentence ends up mentioning the camera again in a way that wasn't, like... Didn't seem like you had it, but... 
Yeah. Just when when he uses it, take it. Okay. Whoa, buddy. What happened to you? You demon Brady bunch. I I just want you you to take our photo, huh? Okay, I'll take your photo. Boy, you sure do come prepared, don't you? So do I just take their picture or just leave? Just leave. You sure I can't take the picture? Is that gonna? I think you can. I mean, I think it blinds them. So. Now, this your uh, first time at the Fun Fear of Hell? Yeah, we went to this tree. Now try again. But the perpetual anguish wasn't very bad. Because I don't think they. I think you just have to straight up steal it at this point. <laughs> okay. Been on any of the rides here? Yeah. I went on the rocket ride. Real neat. You can puke your innards all over the whole park from the top. There seems to be a lot of demons here. Well, well I, I, I'm no expert, but I'd say rides like the, the Triple Damnation Thunder Bucket are targeted at the demon end of the market. <sighs> I know Big D's around here someplace. Bub's in town? Whatever, that's great. We gotta get our photo taken with him. How do I get back to planet Earth? I, I don't know. We're from Check your inventory real fast. Yeah, let's let's hope and pray. No. Wait. Nope. Yeah, no. Okay. I think you have to reload. Sorry. Wait. No, uh, let me let me see if running out the dialogue can maybe get the opportunity back, but. Try and stick your head in every ten seconds, otherwise... I think I messed it up. Sorry. <laughs> I was in a film about it. Uh-huh. Ask to take a photo. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Done. Bye. Okay. Yes, you can just... You can just ask to take another photo, and they... You can go. Alright. Yeah, don't take another photo. No. No, Zero. Um, it's broken if you talk to the clown more than once. Yeah, that's a phrase I just said, Spud. Yeah, that didn't quite scan. What? Well, you you have to talk to the clown twice, but if you do it the wrong way, you die. So. Okay. Um. So. Use we, an imp in the funny picture machine, then take a photo of him. You will now have like a blind him. imp. Thank you very much. A camera. Here we go. Now say, please. So... We now have a blind imp? Yep. Who remembers the pointless the death imp. counter? Because that needs to come back. No, there's been too many now. The slot machine broke the broke the counter. Uh, go to the motorcycle show. The motorcycle show? Where the, the hell one, is it's, that? It's, li it's literally right next to you. It's the, literally right next to that it's thing. The, it's the Wall of Death thing? Uh, it is specifically the Wall of Death motorcycle show, yes. Do I use the blind use imp? Use the, the blind, send the blind imp through the door. Okay. Let's see how this ends poorly. Well. Pick up that motorcycle helmet. Motorcycle helmet. Okay. Okay. Because you'll need that in a few minutes. And Okay! Okay! <laughs> there should also be some glue that is just hanging around outside here. Some glue? Yes, some glue. Where? The It's hanging out around the wall of death is what the guide says. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Too bad I can't watch when Spud's soul is broken again. <laughs> You can you can rewatch all you like. Uh, God. Okay. What? Well, um, it just says it's around. It's in like a bucket. If that helps, it may be like closer to the picture show thing. I don't know. Or maybe it's in that one sort of dead end spot that maybe. I was looking at earlier. Yeah. Literally, all the guide says is. Finally, collect the glue just hanging around outside the wall of death. Oh, 
in the next node over. Well, that's a pot of glue. Thank you very huh. much. Alrighty then. Well, I was never into that. Okay. I swear. The only other item in this north side that we haven't mentioned is the broken roller coaster. To fix, to fix the broken roller coaster. To fix the broken roller coaster. To make it, make it, make it, make it. <laughs> English no longer functioning. Please restart. At, along with many other things that are not functioning. You will require the toolbox balloon and imp to make a floating toolbox imp. You'll also need another balloon and the magnet to solve the puzzle. We what will come balloons? Back later. Yep. Okay. That's what, that's what you need from the clown. Um. So we head back out through the cave? Yes, head back to the south side, a.k.a. the entrance. And uh, we're going to go into the fun house. Save before you go into the fun house. God damn it. Okay. Oh, I'm going to regret every second of this. Absolutely. Uh, especially because it involves timed puzzles. Yeah, okay. What do I need to know before I walk in through the first node? Um, that this room is full of traps that will kill you if you don't time them right. Oh, they're, they're timing advancement puzzles. Yes. Um, they don't, like, when I say timing puzzles, I mean it's not like you are timed once you get in there, although you will be at a certain point. Um, uh... It is. You have to wait for a specific moment to go through certain areas. Um, I don't believe any of it triggers until after you get out, though. Or after you get in, I should say. All right, so. well, let's head on in and see what happens. <laughs> that soul-crushed tone. Yeah. God, this is the ugliest room. There's a slippery slide. Yep, head straight forward. The slide, then. Yep. Oh, good. Slow mental death, the game. Yeah. Uh, okay, there's a ball pit to the right with a ladder, and there's a path straight ahead. Uh, I believe it doesn't, unfortunately, it doesn't say where you need to go specifically. Um, you need to find the Hall of Mirrors. I need to find it. Yeah, it just says. Or, I, oh, Hall of Mirrors straight ahead. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, mirrors. You're looking for a spanner or wrench. In this room? Uh, in one of the Hall of Mirror rooms. There are several. Crazy mirrors. So... I'm in a Hall of Mirrors room. It's not the Hall of Mirrors room. No. Not the one with the wrench in it, because... Right. And I can't move forward, so I have to move back. Thanks, game! Although, there is a netting a here. Net. I can climb mm. that. Let's... Yeah, you'll need that later. Later, huh? Yep. Uh... I'm not even worried about this this particular spoiler. An evil mirror you is going to come out and try to kill you. Oh, good. Once you take the wrench. Well, here's... Also, did I mention that getting out of here is a labyrinth again? Oh, God. <sighs> Because this game loves labyrinths! Oh, it's also an exit room. Well... Oh, there should be one, I guess. In, uh, crazy mirrors. I don't know. Check the mirrors, I suppose. Crazy mirrors. Some crazy, crazy, some mirrors. crazy mirrors. Okay. Um, oh, hold on. Maybe not. You may just need to get close. But, yeah, yeah but, okay. But to which corner? It doesn't say, unfortunately. Are you kidding me? Presumably, it'll show up once you, once you know where it is. Oh, one of the other one of the other me's has it. Yeah, take it from him. Take it from the evil you. Of you holding a spanner, how, how odd. A spanner. And then run. Dark Spud is a douche, but at least he's honest about being a douche. Okay, run, 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 run. All right. Then climb, climb. Yeah, climb up the netting, uh, and then Shoot. take a right. Nope. I was wrong. Yeah, you don't take the shoot. The shoot just launches you back where you were. There's a scramble net. Um, so yeah, you go up the netting. I believe you take a right. 
Alas, I can't. Oh. Crazy mirrors. Okay, so we take a right from the netting. Yeah. Oh, jeez, that guy is still coming after you. Okay. Oh, son of a... Yeah, like I said, it's a timing thing. There's going to be, like, a specific thing where, like, where it pops up that you can run. Okay, like I, go, I go through. Do I go right or straight? Right. It's always going to be, like... Ah, oh, son of a... I missed thing. it, like, by, like, a split second. Okay. So I have a gist of it. Yep. Huh. The entrance to a fun house. So basically I go through multiple of those types of traps. Yep. Waiting for the speed up advancement. Yep. Knifed by a clown, yes. Another way to die. Okay. Um. And unfortunately, once again, the guy doesn't tell you how to get out. So. So this is going to be another trial and error thing. I'm mostly going off of memory here. Well, he lets out a kind of a, kind of a whimper. It was like, eh, when when the evil you shows up. Who knew I could be such an asshole? Everybody but you, Spud. Everybody but you. I'm gonna call him Spood, Spood. so that I actually can distinguish him from you better. All right, and then through that tunnel. The tunnel on the right or the straight? Uh, oh, sorry, you finished that tunnel. Uh, to the right. Uh, okay. Oh shit, did it? Ah, oh, damn it, it took you back there. Oh, right, no, go up. Uh, it's another timing thing to go up those. Yeah. And then, which seems oh. to lead me back. Shit! Oh, I'm trying to, it's so hard to remember where this goes. Okay. Um, rather than that right that I told you, take a, uh, go straight. Not the first right, um, the one that, like, had the box hallway. Yeah. Because I remember going past the clowns. Have I mentioned that the bullshit contained in this game is profound? Mm-hmm. All right, that shoot. And then, do I go straight or right? I believe it's forward. Oh, um, yeah, forward. And then, left or right? Right. I'm just, I'm trying to remember based on some, you know, not oh. great visual cues. And then out. I'm out. Yes. Yes! Have I escaped? Yes. Once you're out of the funhouse, you are out and done. Okay, do I want to save now, or...? Um, I think you'll be fine for a little bit. So, um, what you're gonna want to do is head to the spinning rockets. The spinning rockets. Where the hell? Uh, uh, I'm not seeing them. Um, it should be on this side of the park. Um, let's see. Oh, there's the spinning. Yeah, the spinning rocket ride. Okay. Um, because you need it to you need to get past the Punch and Judy show. Um. So what do I do now that I first I'm... make a spanner imp? Combine an imp with the wrench. Spanner. Spanner. Yeah, I believe that's uh, like I'm not good with tool names, but I uh, wow. it's specifically. Uh, oh, right. Uh, it's a uh, spanner is just the UK equivalent yeah. of a wrench. It's yeah. like just a naming thing. Uh, get on the rocket ride. Use uh, the spanner imp on the nut, like on the bolt that's nearby. Oh, OK. Um, so I have to get in the rocket? Yeah, you have to get in the rocket, use the imp on the bolts, and then equip the motorcycle helmet. Uh, Pointless death count plus another one. Also, yeah, I think you need to do it relatively quickly because otherwise this ride will kill you. So just have the motorcycle helmet equipped? Yep. And just wait for it to start. 
Okay. Bud, why didn't you put on your helmet? He did eventually. Oh, God. <laughs> Took him way too long. Well, that's a thing. Yep, you just killed a Punch and Judy show. Because? Uh, you're going to the ghost train. So we want to go to the ghost train now. Yep. It's a um, ghost train. Yeah. Here's what, you, here's what you're going to do. Ride the ghost train to, quote, unquote, watch for the clues. Clues. I say includes. Where did the TH come from? Do I want to save? I've made quite a bit of progress. Uh, yeah, you can save now. I've gotten past, like, two major obstacles now. Mm-hmm. Uh, save the game one. But now we have one imp left. He will be used shortly. And then we'll probably have to go find some more. Ac uh, yeah. Actually, we'll... uh, we may want to go find some more now. Yeah, probably a good if I'm, idea. If I'm being honest, we need to grab, like, f six more. Um, the game only requires, I think... The game only requires three more. Um, just as a way to possibly avoid the, uh... You know, the problem of, you know, text-based screwing with the game. I get an extra two. So we have an extra save spot. Spot. Save Splot? I don't... Save Splot! <laughs> Look, this game doesn't care enough about the English language. Why should we? Yeah. Oh, God. But, you know, the thing is, we have to save in front of this thing. Yeah. We wasted our save. <sighs> well, give it a go, Spud. Yeah, no, we're doing the, we're doing the fucking slot machine again. I don't... I'm sorry, guys. We have to. Yep. We're hate playing this now. Okay. We have technically four imps. Okay. Um. One to save later and three for the rest of the game. Okay. So, head back to the ghost train. You going you going for a ride. We going for a ride. Yep. There's nothing that'll kill you while you're riding the ride. It's when you go through after riding the ride that things can kill you. Uh, do it. Have I sounded more pathetic during this particular stream? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, maybe a lot bit. Well, I mean, it's just I I think it's before this you had no idea what you were getting into. No. Uh, what you were in for. Like, Man. yeah, it's basically just all, like, the nonsense. Like, Spud had some, like, kind of boring parts and then really awful parts. This is just all the awful parts all the time. Yeah. At least it's not horribly racist. That's, like, okay, if that's, if that is the plus of your game, you've made, Damn. you've made a terrible mistake. Yeah, you have gone somewhere wrong in life. I'm glad, I'm glad, uh, okay, let's just, what are you glad for, Spud? I don't know. What are you glad for that is better than this? There aren't games like this today, maybe? That is I'm... a good thing to think about. I'm sure someone's going to mention an example in the chat. All right, so we take the ride then? Yep, get on the ride. Okay. Just let it ride. Yep. Pay attention to uh, just things to pay attention to. The noose, the pop-up Nosferatu, uh, the buzzsaw, the witch, and the toolbox behind a set of bars. Thank you very much. What? Yep. Those are the obstacles we have to... We're, we're getting the toolbox. We have to go through all those obstacles to get the toolbox. I get the feeling if Spud could look at me, it would be he'd be giving me one of those "I could kill you" 
<laughs> looks. Well, I think I'm... I may have wet myself. Thank you very much. Okay, so what? How the hell do we do this? Okay, get off the ride, and you're gonna need combine the glue and the, an imp to make a glue imp, which you are going to put onto the ghost train. Oh, Maul, uh, Mauler's taking my money. No, we're not killing each other. I think Spud just probably wants to kill me. Kind of glue. <laughs> Thank you very much. And not, I will. I I don't glue. honestly blame him. A little bit. Okay, there you go, buddy. Have fun. And you will be following him in. Following him in. Okay. Yep. Let me read you specifically um, what to do. So, uh... Okay, I'm, st I'm standing on the track. Okay. Uh, go forward. Following the... Uh... Yeah, you gotta follow the car. The car is gonna open doors for you, is the thing. Um, but you can go yeah, through that coffin door. to uh, go through the coffin to skip past the skip past this first door. Yes. Okay. Um, you don't want to be standing on the tracks when the car comes around. Otherwise, it will kill you. Okay. Uh, go find. You have to wait for the um, wait for the car to come past and then go through that next door and then uh, get to the pop up Nosferatu. Oh, boy. Okay, timing puzzle achieved. Pop okay. up, pop up, Nosferatu, what? The vampire. The vamp, you remember the vampire that popped up off the ground? No! You didn't, no, you didn't see it? <laughs> I see a noose. Uh, it's just past the noose. You're gonna wanna, uh, it's, yeah. uh, go back, go towards the noose. Okay. And you see that thing that's on the ground flat? No. Stand well, just straight ahead. Like, just past the noose. Okay. A pop up Nosferatu. Okay. Stand on that thing. Just go down and stand on it. Stand on it. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna launch you up into the noose that you'll grab with your hands. Uh, so it'll it'll open a gate for you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this isn't hell. This is Dimension X. <sighs> not even hell. So, this game is not even good enough for No, this, this... Going having to go through this seems like hell enough. <laughs> oh no, you're gonna get hit by the... Oh, you're fine. Oh... <sighs> Okay, so we go through the gate, right? Yep, you go through the gate, and... Uh... You are going to collect the toolbox. Collect the toolbox, okay. Yep. Yeah, toolbox. Whoop. Gotta turn off F-Lux, okay. Uh, tools. Okay. So, anything else? Uh, the exit's gonna be a bit of a pain to get to. Um, can you open the janitor door? I th yeah. The door seems locked, good buddy. Oh, it's locked. Oh. Okay, uh, go back up. Okay. I'm gonna wait for the thing to probably come back around again. Yeah. Oh, what so is... This is The Quivering, the sequel to Spud with an exclamation mark for people who are just joining us. It's... Okay. All kinds of atrocious. Okay, so we just keep going forward then? Yeah. Uh, and then when you get to the room with the skeletons... Uh-huh. Uh, uh, you're going to need to watch out for the witch that pops up from the ce pops down from the ceiling. Um, um... Well, I've made it to another side room where... I can yeah, you follow gotta, through. Yeah. Um, you gotta wait for the car again. Well, it just passed, so what do I need to do when I go beyond just, it? Yeah, just go. Okay, well, I'll have to wait for it to come around again. Oh, ouch. Um. Yeah. Uh, it's, you'll be almost out, you'll be in a room that has, like, two or three skeletons in it. Um, 
uh, and then you'll have to wait for the witch to pop down, which is when the car's coming around again, um, and that'll get you above the buzz saw that comes out and will take your legs. So I've got to basically preempt the timing death. Yep. Son of a... Come on, let me through. Uh, so do I got to go forward from here? Yeah. Okay, yep. and in cool. the, the room with the skeletons, I got to... Yeah. Uh, the pop-up, uh, I believe you still go forward. Okay, forward, forward. Um... Oh, there's the witch. Yeah. Get as close to her as you can, and I, then... I think this is it here. Yeah, just wait for it to drop down and then click it as soon as you can. Okay. And then follow through the doors, and you should be almost out. So... Here we go. Oh, God. Please tell me you made it. Yeah. <laughs> go, go, go. Okay. We out. Oy. We out. All right. Good. Excellent. You are almost done, Spud. Okay. Getting the hell out. Yeah. We are, um, we are done with Ghost Train. Yep. Okay. I love this. Even the walkthrough is all this for the toolbox. All right. Uh, what I'm going to recommend is saving, obviously. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna save in any particular spot. Save in front of the clown, please. The clown. The clown is next to the fun house. Okay, saving in front of the clown. Mm -hmm. I then have talked to him once and ask for a balloon. Okay. It's a nice demon balloon clown. Hi, fella. Okay, talk. Ask nicely for a balloon. Yep. <laughs> there you go. And once you have the balloon, a balloon on me. just leave. Thanks, dude. Out. Um, oh. Head over to the roller coaster. Mollers, take my money. You have figured it out. This is a game where you have limited collectible saves. Yep. And the saves are also used to solve puzzles. Yeah, where they can die and yep. be consumed. All right. Uh, you're going to make a balloon toolbox imp. <laughs> so combine the imp with it's, the toolbox. This is, this, is then... my, this is my last imp is the thing. Yeah. Do I care about being able to save more? Uh... Yeah, I would say probably go get like. Here we months. go. Sorry, everyone who was late, you get to watch the gambling one more time. Lucky you guys. Just to be on the. And I've side. and I've I'm almost ready to renege. I say, besides maybe the first one, we just I'm keeping this all in. <laughs> it must be seen to be believed. Okay, I'm I'm we're two imps up. Do we do we need any more? Uh you should be if you're two imps up, um yeah, just get over to the roller coaster and make sure you've got a like a secondary save file. Well, basically I'm going to have that save that that last safety save at the uh gambling machine. Okay, well, that'll work then. All right, so where do uh, I go for this roller coaster uh, thing? It's just where that grouping of tents is. The grouping of tents over here? Yeah, next to the roller coaster. Ah, uh, I think I see the problem. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so imp on the table plus balloon. A balloon. And toolbox. Oh, it needs the toolbox first. And toolbox. Probably, yeah. Full of useful. There's a uh, balloon. Tools. A floating carpenter imp. Full of tools and stuff all right and just drop it next to the roller coaster in we go uh you want to maybe now head back to the clown oh you don't have enough power with your balloon oh so now we ask for a an... now that you don't have a balloon in your inventory go ask for a second one yeah uh 
So this game's just fake out after fake out. Yep. And this is, by the way, where the second uh, problem can come in. The second problem? That there's the reason I had you save in front of the clown. The second, like, text-based lockout. Ask about his car? Oh, no. Just go through, see if you can... You got one of those funny cars that falls apart when you drive it? Only in work. Outside of the park, I drive a Mustang. Ask about Big D. Oh no! Oh, Big D's around here someplace. Bound to be. He's a very big guy. Where's a balloon? I, I've been exchanging saves between one, two, and three. I don't. I do not have any on earthly idea where it might be. That's before this. How do I get back to Planet Earth? You go over the rainbow, over the stream, follow the fellow who follows a green. Follow, Please follow, just be follow, follow, running follow, through follow, the follow stupid the dialogue button. options. Sorry, I thought you were after some This might be like the camera. I'm hoping it is. Sure. That's easy Please don't be that now. bad. Be nice. But the track's broken. So. And. So I fixed the track. Bingo! You're a bright boy. De demand another balloon. Oh no. So, what does it take to get another balloon around here? Uh oh! Stop talking. I work and I work for you, goddamn kid. He killed you, didn't he? Yeah. Please, Damn clown, it! Can I have twenty billion? Okay, I think you saved before the clown at two. Well, sure you can, kid. Okay. Load save. This was before the clown. Yes. Okay. Uh. Oh yeah. I don't like this, but um, do you have the balloon in your inventory? I don't think I do. I do not. This was but this was pre balloon. Okay, talk to him, like, ask nice for the balloon. balloon clown. Hi, fella. <laughs> ask nicely for a balloon. Have a yep. balloon on me. Thanks, dude. Okay. Make the toolbox imp. My one remaining imp. Yeah, just put it all together. Hey, toolbox. Full of useful as a balloon. I just want to, like, this is me trying to see if it works, because I have no idea what else we can do. Uh, now, um, just now, just talk to him. Don't like, you don't have to go to the roller coaster or anything. Just talk to him again, see if maybe he'll give you another balloon. Damn it! It's asking about his car. Um, okay, try going to the roller coaster. So you're telling me that the walkthrough written by one of the, not actual designers, but by one of the assistant writers, uh, is not thorough enough. Nope. A so if you talk to him, what happens? Uh, ask about his car. Son of a bitch, look at the balloons. Let's see balloon. if maybe that does anything. There's a balloon. There's a balloon. There's a balloon. Damn it. Thank you very much. Oh boy, oh boy, how oh, to get I am Yeah, let's see if there's any anyone's actually played this really old game and actually knows how to The answer is no. Nobody else has any sort of thing on this. Well, the the whatever The other people you watch do this, how did they do it? They didn't. They what? <laughs> this was their this was where they got uh they got the same soft lock as we have. What? And they yeah. <laughs> Are you telling me this ends here? It's not supposed to, but that's where their video did, yes. So, we follow if okay. So, best case scenario, we did the same thing wrong that they got wrong, and maybe there's a sensible way through. Worst case scenario, this game's just 
Yeah, worst case scenario, the game is just broken. And I have no more saves that are before this, so whatever we messed up. Okay, there's one thing that the guide says to do that it also bullshits about, so maybe let's try getting that. Go back to the ghost train. The ghost train. Yeah. Okay, You're not going in it. You're going to go around it. Okay, going towards the ghost train. Going around. You're looking for a mat. A mat? Yeah, it's a thing you can pick up, apparently. There's a janitor's room. Oh, I can go... In, I can look into the janitor's room. And there's a, the machine gun. <laughs> yeah, we'll be getting that later. Uh, well, sack. It's a sack. Thank you very much. We got a sack, okay. or kind of a mat with handles or something. One moment. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know why I said we'll be getting that later. That depends entirely on if we can get past this. The thing, the like, the walkthrough says getting this is a red herring. But I'm hoping maybe the fact that getting it will trigger some sort of in-game thing that lets you get a second balloon. Really? That's the only thing I can think of, because otherwise we followed this guide. Only in work. Outside of the park, I drive a Mustang. I know big deals. Oh, what is what is this? How do I get back to planet Earth? You go over the rainbow, over the stream, follow the fellow. It did. The last two sentences are follow, basically follow, 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 you get follow, follow a machine gun. Uh, you use the magnet Sorry, to get a machine gun. Or, you use the magnet to get the handyman's keys off the roller coaster so you can sneak into the ghost train and get the machine gun from the janitor's room. And then you go to Big D's place and die. And then you play as Frankenstein. Have you survived the roller coaster? Sure. That's easy <laughs> when you know how. But the track's broken. So? The bright side is, Spud dies Bingo. in this game. You're a bright boy. The downside is, I don't think we're going to get to it. So, what does it take to get another... Oh, here we go. I w yep, okay, that's death. Yep. Okay. All right. I officially don't know what to do anymore, Spud. And I certainly wasn't going to start pretending. Because the whole reason I was doing this at all is because we were following a guide. Ha! Ah! No! No, fuck this game. We're done. <laughs> we tried. Do I really want to quit? Um, let me take a wild, wild guess. Why? So that, you know what? Even if we do figure out, I don't think I'm ever going to want to actually come back and see how that goes. <laughs> uh, we fo enough. we followed a we followed a dev a guide written by one of. The writers, assistant writers, who apparently had that other people have also followed and come up with this scenario who have no idea what they're talking about. So as far as I'm concerned, even though there is an ending to this, this might as well be the ending. The end the how how the quivering ends is that it's a broken ass piece of shit game that we can't even finish. And it's and I just want it out of my life forever. Followed, followed the guide, got stuck, 10 out of 10. I am actually quite mad about this. <laughs> Me too. There is theoretically an ending. We're not going to see it, though, and I'm not even disappointed. I hope you're not disappointed, or else you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> if you're Son disappointed, a... join the fucking club. <laughs> God damn, I don't even get closure, but no. No, I get validation that it's a broken piece of shit, fine. Or maybe it's some other, even more obscure thing that even one of the assistant 
writers didn't know or misunderstood or whatever. God. All that to get here and it was still just garbage. Pure. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Given that, the, given that the alternative to no ending is it being over, I'm really not disappointed, says Honorable Insanity. That's kind of my point. That's kind of my point. Wow. <laughs> well, Din. Good enough for me. Thanks, thanks for, for thanks, thanks for buying me the game and helping me through it. You're not welcome, because I know you're not actually meaning that. Thanks. No, I'm not. <laughs> Oh, if you had the option, you would send me through every death that Spud just went through. Uh, only in a virtual setting. Oh, okay, you know, yeah, that's... There we go, the saga that began with Spud exclamation point and through a bunch of other actually significantly better potato and Spud-themed games now ends with this, an anti-climax. Truly, fittingly absurd. Let me just read, I'll, I'll read the last lines of the, the guide just for, you know, clarity. So it's, you know, like you got the ending. Inside the castle, you will meet Big D again, and he will kill you. Now, playing as the Elvis monster, you must defeat all of the monsters thrown at you by clicking on them. Unfortunately, you are on your own for this arcade section. Hints, you normally have some time while skeletons get up on the outer ledge before attacking. Use this time to click on the wheels. Watch for a sequence. The attacks are not random. If you climb up the last ladder after the birds, the game will finally end. You win, and you did it all by yourself. Hope you enjoyed it. Essentially, for how good that guide was. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Closest you, uh, closest you'll get to the end. I can see. I can picture it in my mind's eye. Just take that BS ending sequence from. From uh, from Spud, from Spud, except, and then make except, it even more arbitrary. Instead of rock paper scissors, it's like Galaga, but it sucks. Yeah, it's it's crappy adventure game Galaga. Yeah. Oh well, I'm stopping the recording. I'm stopping this. I'm ending it now. <laughs> Goodbye. Would you like me to stream a good game now? Would you like to play a good game now? <laughs> One or the other. It has to be. It needs to be something else. Let's let's play something else. Okay, I'll be quiet. So, uh, apparently there's one last part to this, and it's there's a music video for this on the Steam page. <laughs> this might as well be how the game ends, for if we're lacking our proper ending. What the hell is this? What the hell was this? I was not prepared for that midriff. I will never be prepared for that midriff. No one ever will be. Someone said that's a good idea, man. You should totally go with that. It was a different time. This singer's also monotone. Yeah. I would I would almost mistake him for the protagonist's voice, except he's not as much of a douchebag. Not like by a sliver. Nah, uh, he's not a douchebag, he's a chav. Oh yeah. Similar, very very similar, but not entirely the same. And the, the one thing they have to show off in the video is all the deaths. Yeah. Because that's funny, right? People love that. When you get a death in this game, you laugh. Ha <laughs> ha, it's so fun! 
didn't cause any sort of anguish, agony, despair. You, you say you can't watch this, no. You will watch this with me, damn it. If I have to watch it, so do you. <laughs> There's that mummy I told you about. Fat in. Why is he rhyming kitchen so much? I don't even know why you're asking any sort of question about this, frankly. It's one thing to be, like, poorly written and animated for a game. It's another thing to have a music video that's somehow just as Every nonsensical. Everything about this game is poorly done, including things that are unrelated to this game. Or only very tangentially related. The audio quality is about as good, too. <laughs> And here we are on the bridge. This is kind of cool jam. Oh, now we got a drum solo. A drum solo from the man who doesn't understand how drums work. We're almost there, guys. <laughs> you didn't have to watch the full thing. Yes, we do! <laughs> this game owes me something, man. I'm gonna take every last scrap it has. I will, I will drain you of all your vitality and then some. Get down to the point? Yeah. Man, someone thought that was cool. Someone thought that was cool. Alternative software. Alternative to anything it's good. Not Got him. <laughs> Spot. It wasn't even worth it. <laughs> no, no, it was. It was never going to be worth it. So four bucks, huh? Yep, that's what I spent on it. Good, good, good stuff. That was the quivering. <laughs>